Question 2 from test 7 on compound angle formula. Write an equivalent trigonometric ratio. And there are three questions in it. I would like you to copy this question, answer, and once you have answered, then look into my suggestion. Take it as a practice test, then you are really going to get advantage of this video. We do have similar questions in other videos. If you have real difficulty in doing it, I'll suggest go through those videos once again. Okay, here is my suggestion. Now we say write an equivalent trigonometric ratio. So the reason of taking this is that I find students struggling with pi and they don't really understand how to deal with this. Now I'll tell you some easy ways of dealing with it. So when we are working on these types of questions, I will break it into two parts. One, the question like this, and the other one is the sign, right? So we'll treat these two things separately, okay? And combine them to get our answer. That is the whole idea. Now, let's try to understand sine 9 pi by 7. Where will it be? So this is our pi, do you see that? That's our pi, and this pi is now divided into seven portions. But you are on the ninth, that means you did seven here and two more. Do you see that two more? So this is, this is nine pi by seven. So what you really did was that, this is seven pi by seven, right? That is pi. And you did two more, that means your related acute angle is 2 pi by 7. 2 pi by 7 is your related acute angle. Now if you are talking about sine and if you are in quadrant 3, that means negative value. So this value is negative. Is that fine? Because you are in quadrant 3. Negative and negative should make it positive, right? So what do you expect here? You expect a positive value. Do you see that? That is how we get the sine. And the other thing is, we have to get the angle. Angle is a related acute angle 2 pi by 7. So we can write this as sine of 2 pi by 7. So that is how we can write it as an equivalent trigonometric ratio. Do you get it? That is a good way of doing it. Other way is, sometimes you may be asked to write more than one answer, right? Sometimes what we can do is, we can use cosine function co-function identities, right? Write it as a cosine function, right? Co-function identities are with the verticals, not with the horizontal. That is how you have to see. So with the vertical, how much angle do we make? That is the question, right? With the vertical, how much angle do we make? Now, in this particular case, where it is 2 pi by 7, so each division is and a half, so what we should do, it. okay, so write an equivalent trigonometric ratio so that sine 2 pi by 7 is an equivalent trigonometric ratio for minus sine 9 pi by 7, okay. Now let's look into the next one, which is tan minus 6 pi by 11. Okay. Now when we say tan, let's do a quadrant for this. So what we are trying to see here is minus. That means we'll move counterclockwise. 6 pi by 11. That means we move from here. There are 11 in all. And we went 6. So we left 5, right? 6 in all, correct? Right? 11 were in all, right? So we covered 6. That is what we covered. And how much did we leave? Out of 11, 6 were covered. We left 5, right? So from here, if you see, this should be 5 pi by 11. Do you get my point? From here, if you see, it is 5 pi by 11. So this point is minus 6 pi by 11. But if you see from that end, so total this pi was divided into 11 portions, right? This was 11 pi by 11. That's how you get pi, correct? So you covered 6, left 5. That's how I see it. Now, so the first part is, 
that because of this angle, you land in quadrant 3 and tan is positive in quadrant 3, therefore you expect a positive value. Correct? So we get a positive answer and the related acute angle is 5 pi by 11. So we could write this as tan 5 pi by 11. I hope you get that part, right? It's easy, right? It's becoming easier and easier for you, correct? Last, I've purposely taken sine, tan and cosine. So let's again think similar way. So let's make here. Here's this for cosine. Now this time it is minus 2 pi by 15. So there are 15 portions in all, but we just move two portions. 1, 2, and there you are. Minus, so we are going clockwise. So the related acute angle is just 2 pi by 11. Is it okay? Oh, 15. 2 pi by 15. Correct? Now as far as the sine is concerned, cosine is positive here. Correct? So you are expecting a positive answer. Acute angle is 2 pi by 15. So you could write this as cos of 2 pi over 15. That is the way to get all your answers of equivalent trigonometric ratios. I hope that makes things absolutely clear. Thank you.